Hi guys, and welcome back to RC Fun and Games, guys. You already all know me now. I'm Ryan, and today we're gonna be unboxing another rock van, guys. The CR-18 Pro. And on this one, we're gonna be doing something special. It's not about the unboxing and everything, as we've already unboxed one of these on the channel, guys. So if you want a link to that, it should be up here somewhere. This one we are just opening and we're basically going to start a custom build. We're going to start by fitting a custom made body for the van guys. And this was done by an awesome friend of mine, Byron Rocks guys. He's also got a YouTube channel which he's just started. But he's quite well known already on TikTok guys. So I'm going to put a link to his channel up here. Go and show him some love guys. Let's show some support to the guy because he does some amazing work and also build some amazing builds guys so let's see if we give him some subscribers if he will start posting some more videos on youtube guys okay so let's move on to what's inside the box as you guys all know this is made by Upsima. basically it's the same as all the others out there it's just rebranded as Upsima, guys so let's just get it open we've already done an unboxing so i'm not gonna bother boring you guys let's get this thing open let's get it out of here Oh yeah, it looks nice in this color, guys. It's a pity. Okay, so as you guys can see, nice red and gray one. Um, we already have the blue one, as you guys will notice if you watch the other video. Um, yeah, so basically, let's just get the components out. We get our instruction manual, you get the charger, some wrenches to work on it, and you know what, you get some cool stickers to put on it as well. So that's number one. Next. I believe we're gonna have to cut. Oh yes, so let's just cut this one off. This is so you can remove the controller. And you know what guys, I will say it again, these controllers are awesome. They're not too big, you can fit them anywhere you want if you go on a journey or travels. Check that out guys. Really nice quality, feels really good in hand and it's perfect to do some one hand driving so perfect to get some footage while you're out crawling cut that off let's just get underneath here guys oh the battery just fell out okay let's throw that down there guys check that sweet little van out i must say it looks awesome as you guys can imagine it's gonna look even better with that on guys check that out okay so on this little guy it's a basic setup but guys out of all the 1 to 18 scales i've played with even the 1 to 24 scales i still say out of the box these are probably the most capable definitely the best performers straight out of the box you don't need upgrades and they do extremely well guys so I do like the color of this van guys, check that out, it just looks really amazing, okay? Right now what I'm going to do with this one guys, to start our project, I'm going to take it onto my table where I work, I'm going to strip it down so that I can fit the bumpers, lights, mirrors, wipers, everything to this body guys. I just want you guys to have a nice look around that body, look at the nice work that Byron Rocks did for me, check Bowser on the roof guys, yeah. And of course on the back you got Super Mario, in the front you got these two little guys, Mario and Luigi. So this is awesome guys, definitely one of a kind. We're not even going to do a test run until this body is fitted, okay guys? So I'm going to take it straight to the table and I'm going to get stuck into some work. Come and join me guys. Okay guys, here we are, we're on my desk now. So we're going to start tearing this guy down so we can get all the components we need off the body so we can fit it to the Mario themed body. So, let's get stuck in. We're going to start by taking these two pins out the back here, guys. Okay, guys. I'm going to start by removing these two screws so I can get the body off. We are going to start disassembling everything off this body. So, if you look carefully on the inside guys, you've got all the wiring that's going to have to come out and be put on that body. And we've also got all the bumpers, light buckets, mirrors. Anyway, let's get started guys. I'm going to pull all these out. Let's start by the mirrors.
Okay guys, and here's the rest of the wiring. And now we're gonna have to figure out how to get these two wipers off. As you guys can see, they are like glued. Doesn't look like they're melted, might be glued. So gonna see what I can do to get those off. Okay, but for now, let's take this body and let's just mimic all the holes. I've tried to do the front headlights, but let's get all the other holes in so that we can fit the mirrors and the back lights and everything else. Okay, guys? Okay, guys, now let's see if these holes actually match up. Let's get these mirrors on. Okay, guys, it was really tricky, so I couldn't really film it. I'm only just getting started. I've put the two wipers on, which they actually pulled out and they just have a bit of rubberizer or something on the back. I've just put a touch of super glue on either side just to hold them in place. Okay, guys, I've managed to put the front bumper and grill on which took a lot of fine tuning to the holes to be able to make it all line up so that the grill could go flat and everything guys it was definitely a lot of work let me just put the light so you guys can see what I mean it has it likes to leave a big gap but I managed to eliminate it completely it's definitely been quite a big job to get it like this so I'm gonna move on now guys I've done the last trimming on the back of the car so we can fit the back bumper and everything and the back lights so I think I'm gonna start with the lights guys I just checking that the buckets were gonna fit everything seems to fit fine so I'm gonna start assembling if I can catch it on camera I will if I can't guys you guys will see the end product okay guys I'm gonna start by trying to put these front lights in okay that wasn't too bad guys that went in quite nicely now I'm gonna start assembling the back lights, guys. Okay, and now as you guys can see, bumpers all on, lights are on, mirrors are on, wipers are on, front bumper and grill. Yeah, it's ready guys. It's time to get it assembled onto the vehicle and then we can take it out for a small test run guys. Oh, I'm looking forward to this guys. Okay, my friends, all we got to do now is get this to go back in there, which shouldn't be the worst to do, so not too much. A bit.
Okay guys, so the main light, this one yeah, plugs in up here. So I don't know if you guys can see it, it goes right on the front. That's your main upper light on the top side of the headlights. Then you've got this one yeah. If you guys can see, it's just there. It's the second one from the end, guys. And then the last one, you cannot mistake because it is bigger than all the rest. Okay, guys, and as you can see, they're all back together. Okay, guys, now that we finally got it all together and everything is back on in the front, lighting is all in, let's get this battery in, guys. And let's give it a quick little test run. I do like these batteries. They're really small. They're really compact. 600 AMH, 2S LiPos, guys. Definitely got nothing to complain about these. Okay, guys, battery is in. Now, yeah, I need to go and find some batteries for the controller. Guys. Moment of truth. Let's see if the controller is going to work. Yep, controller turns on. Now, let's plug this together. Uh, it seems to have turned on. Guys, you know, I must say, straight out of the box and look at how nice the modulation is on this thing, guys. Look at that. You can literally crawl dead slow. I've got to say, these are awesome, guys. Okay, and now, let's just check our lights. Oh. Yeah, we still need to put our pins in, guys. Aye, aye, aye. Okay, let's check if lights work. Flicker, flicker, or indicator and indicators, they work. Now we hit this button. Yes, top headlights are working. Main headlights are working. Brights are working. Let's check the back. As you guys can see, it's got brakes. Perfect, guys. Let me get my clips in. Okay, guys. He's all together. He's feeling really good. The wheels don't seem to catch anywhere. It seems to be trimmed good enough. Okay, guys. It's definitely ready in my book. I think this thing is awesome and it's definitely ready to go. What do you guys think? Guys, we still have something else here that Byron Rocks made for the van, which is a 3D printed roof rack, guys, which basically keeps Bowser in jail. I think that's an awesome feature. And being the same color as the van, it looks amazing, guys. Now, we'll keep that and all the rims and tires that I've got to fit on it for the next run. I still think that set there might actually look really nice on this van and as I'm not trying to build a capable crawler out of this van, I just want it to look really cool and be Mario themed, I think I'm probably going to put those rims on. Let me know in the comments guys if you think I should put those rims and tire combo on this van and then we'll put some brass rims and some of the new tires from Injora on my first original rock van. Okay guys and don't forget this amazing paint job on this van was done by Byron Rock, so please check out his TikTok channel and check him out on YouTube. The link to his channel will be in the description, so please guys, let's go over and show him some support. Hopefully with that, he will start posting more videos on YouTube because he's got some awesome content guys and stuff that you guys don't wanna miss. So you know what? Get out there, go and go and show him some support guys. Right now, I'm gonna go and get you guys a running video of this sweet Mario fan guys before i run away guys let me just say thanks for watching guys and i'll see you all on the next one guys <laughs>